Well, good morning. I've done this before in like an hour and a half, and this morning we're going to do it in about 10 minutes. So we'll see what happens. We're just going to go for it. Um, this morning I'm going to talk about engine diagnosis and check engine lights, uh, particularly like an O2 sensor code, which is one of the more common codes. Um, if you don't have a shop, and I know most of you people here have a shop now, so that if you don't have a shop, there's a, there's a particular sequence of events that the average person goes through when their check engine light comes on or their car starts misbehaving. Uh, they talk to a friend or neighbor or family member and ask them, hey, do you know anything about check engine lights? And then the next thing is they maybe try and find somebody that works on their own cars and they ask them about it. And then maybe they, maybe they decide to buy the diagnostic eight ball and they get the answer here. Hey, and look at this, it came up O2 sensor. Actually, believe this or not, it did come up O2 sensor right there. So, so there's many different ways of diagnosing. Here's another way, diagnostic dice, symptom and you get the right color. All those are just about as accurate as uh, talking to your neighbor, by the way. So there's a good chance you might actually be right with those items. Um, the next thing is you go to the parts store, somebody will finally say, well, go to the parts store or go to somebody and get a free code read, free scan. Well, this is a code reader or a scanner that's pretty typical. And what it does is it reads the code. That's it. It's a nice handy little tool. We, we like to use that up at intermittent check engine lights come on and we can't, you know, of course, it only happens when the customer's at a certain place at a certain time, so we'll put that in the car and then it'll read it. We can go from there. Okay, the difference between a code reader and a scanner, that's about a $100, $150 tool. The scanner, this, this is not only a scanner, but a lab scope. And it'll give me all the information of all these sensors uh, at one time on the screen. This will give you a code and nothing else. This will give you all the information of all the different sensors on the screen at one time so I can tell if something else is affecting that part. And this one here does a lab scope function. That one, uh, the uh, Vertronics actually does, uh, this one here actually does reprogram. So if a car needs to have something reprogrammed, a factory update, I can actually reprogram that component on the car. And that's the, and this also shows uh, all the perimeters of all the sensors. So. This also has factory information. I can scroll down in and get specs and, and TSBs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, these two are about $16,000, $17,000 for these two scanners versus the uh, $100 code reader that you get for free. So just consider the value of what you're getting. Then uh, finally, they might talk to a technician, or actually talk to a shop, and then finally you know, uh, go to the shop. And I know this because I get the phone calls in the business and over the years and see a pattern. So people spend a lot of time going through this process. Um, so let's talk about some of the different things that can cause this. Uh, and we'll start with uh, just some universal O2 codes, the slow response code, which is probably just an old sensor, a bad heater circuit for the newer ones, and which uh, could be a wiring or, or an O2 problem, or an open or shorter code. Uh, which could be wiring or the circuit. Now, there's a bunch of things that they're called lean and rich O2 codes. So, we can kind of hit on some things real quick. Uh, here, of course, you see is the wiring harness of a 90s vehicle. You got your ECM and your transmission controller. And then right there's your injectors and your harness for your injectors and your throttle position and map sensors and MAV sensor, and there's your O2 sensor right there, and uh, there's a coolant temp fan switch right there, some vacuum solenoids right there. So you can see those are kind of, and then you can look at all those different connectors heading up into your control, e into your ECM. All that harness running all around and back and down. And all, every place there's a connector, there is a place for trouble and that can cause codes. So let's just, I stole this from my technician this morning on my way out the door, and so I'm sure right about now he's going, I wish he hadn't taken that because I was gonna clean that and put it on the car. But let's look at some things on this that can cause, uh, we'll, we'll start with lean O2 codes. So uh, this is a fuel pressure regulator right here. If it gets stuck, it can cause a lean O2 code because it restricts the fuel, the amount of pressure. Uh, another thing would be a uh, 
vacuum leak. 